My name is Liz Patton. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Disease Models and Mechanisms, and I'm at the MRC Human Genetics Unit at the University of Edinburgh. DMM, or Disease Models and Mechanisms, is a biomedical research journal, and what we want to publish is work that advances novel insight into mechanism, diagnosis, and therapy of human disease. So DMM is an open access journal, and so what this means is that all the content, including our reviews and posters, is free to read for everyone. And this includes researchers, clinicians, patients, and their families and advocates. So really everyone has access to the work that's published in DMM. DMM is interdisciplinary in scope, and it covers a very diverse range of diseases and experimental systems. And this includes uh, neurodegeneration, drug discovery, cancer, muscular disorders, rare diseases. Um, we're very interested in, in, in the broad range of human disease. So in, in addition to um, papers that really provide new insight into disease, we also publish cutting edge techniques and resources that advance the disease biology field. Um, so this might be new organoid systems or new um, multicellular systems or new genome editing techniques. So we really want to have both, you know, be a resource for both the um, research side as well as the new innovation and resources um, for the disease biology field. Um, I should say we have an outstanding team of research active editors who handle all the submissions and um, everything is peer reviewed, of course, and this peer review is vigorous but fair. So as Editor-in-Chief of DMM, there are really two strong principles that underlie the vision for the journal. And this is quality disease research and accessibility. And we consider these the twin pillars of DMM. And so on the one hand, we have the basic and translational science that's essential for probing disease etiology and advancing diagnosis and therapy. And on the other, we have this very important need that the results of the scientific research are freely accessible to anyone and everyone. And so these are really our twin pillars, quality disease research and accessibility. In addition to this, uh, we want to really hear the voices of scientists and patients about disease research. And so we're looking forward to DMM engaging in important and sometimes difficult conversations for the scientific community and to really understand the needs um, throughout the spectrum of disease biology research. So people should submit to DMM for many reasons. And one of the most important reasons is that we're very well respected. We are um, run by scientists for scientists. Uh, we bring visibility to the work and we bring this work to the community. So submissions are handled by research active editors with competitive decision speeds and a strong ethical approach. And for those who don't know, the Company of Biologists is a not-for-profit publisher and so when you submit to DMM, you're supporting the scientific community. Open access is at the heart of DMM, and we feel this is good for science and good for scientists. So open access allows a broader set of readers, in fact, anyone from around the globe, to access the latest research immediately as it is published. We feel this is especially important for a biomedical journal such as DMM. We want to ensure that patients, their doctors, their families and advocates can all access the research that's related to their condition. Authors also will receive benefit because more people can read their work, and this is particularly beneficial for early career researchers. So the Read and Publish initiative has already been hugely successful in our sister journals, Development, Journal of Cell Science, and Journal of Experimental Biology. And so we're so excited to be included in the Read and Publish agreements for 2022. I should say that DMM already offers waivers to researchers based in low and lower middle income countries. And we believe this is an important way to help democratize science. So we're really excited that the Read and Publish initiative enables corresponding authors at participating institutions to publish an unlimited number of articles in an open access format in DMM without having to pay a fee. And so we know this enables a broader set of researchers and authors to publish in our journal. 
and we really view this as a better way to disseminate science and also a fairer way to do science. Looking forward at DMM, we're really interested in pushing more into the mechanisms of disease biology, as well as identifying the translational aspect of in vivo disease biology. We're expanding our front section and including more editorials, perspectives, and reviews from leaders in the field. And as part of this, we're looking at issues relating to patient advocacy. We're very excited about our special issues and these are dedicated issues to an exciting question or component of the field of disease modeling, where we really focus the whole issue um, right from the beginning to the end, specifically on this one disease or new model system or approach. We also have journal meetings, and this is kind of a unique opportunity for a couple of days for researchers from around the world to come together to really think about a specific disease. And I should say this includes researchers at all career stages, and we also continue to support traveling fellowships and conference travel grants.